Hello students, welcome to tutoringcluster.com. So in the last video, we have talked about force law of thermodynamics and how it is expressed mathematically. Now in this video, we are going to learn about heat engines. What are heat engines? How to draw the block diagram or sketch of an heat engine? And how to calculate efficiency of an heat engine? So basically, these are some prior knowledge you will require to study the second law of thermodynamics. So that's why we will be covering first heat engine, a refrigerator and heat pump. And then we will learn about the statement of second law of thermodynamics. So in this video, we will be talking about heat engine and we will solve some good numericals which are very important from exam point of view. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So basically what are heat engines? Let us talk about heat engines. Now, engine, I think everybody knows in the vehicle, in your car, okay, whether it's a two wheeler, four wheeler, everywhere you are going to find the engine. So what is happening inside the engine? So you are supplying the fuel, let's say in the form of petrol or diesel, you are burning the fuel. That means you are producing the, you are giving some input to the engine and as a, return, as a result, it is producing some mechanical work. So mechanical work means your vehicle or car, it is moving. It is nothing but a mechanical, it is in motion, right? So basically what are the heat engine? Heat engine produces work at the expense of at the expense of heat input at the expense of heat input okay now how we can draw the block diagram of heat engine that is more important let's say i have shown the engine he he stands for heat engine okay now we know that heat engine, it produces the work. Just now we have talked. Let's say it's a mechanical work. Okay. Now how it is produces the work by taking some heat input. So there will be input. Let's say it is Q. Now, when we talk of your engine in an automobile, it also, it also rejects the heat to the environment. Exhaust, your exhaust gases. Okay, these are not at lower temperature. It has some heat content in it. That means you are rejecting some heat to the surrounding. You are rejecting the heat to the surrounding. Let's say it is Q. Is it clear? So now I am defining two words. One is heat source. and heat sink now heat source what are the heat source heat source are nothing but these are the heat reservoirs which supplies the heat to the heat engine okay heat source these are the reservoirs heat source. What are the heat source? It is a reservoir which supplies the heat to the engine. So let's say heat source, it is at a temperature T1. So this will be Q1. This is input, input to the system. Okay. This is what input to the system. Your system is heat engine. Now, where is the output? This is your output that it is producing some work and how it is producing the work by rejecting heat to the surrounding. So what are the heat sink? So basically heat sink, these are the reservoir which absorbs the heat energy, which absorbs the heat energy, right? So let's say heat sink, these are at a temperature T2. So this will be Q. 
So this is the block diagram of an heat engine. This is the block diagram of heat engine. Okay, again, I am going to explain you. Okay, see here. You are having an engine, you can consider your automobile engine. So you are supplying the fuel. That means you are giving some input in the form of it. You are burning the fuel. So it is nothing but heat energy. So you are giving the heat energy as input. You are getting the output in the form of mechanical work. That means your motion of an vehicle. And also you are rejecting some heat. Let's say it's exhaust gases to the surrounding. Right. So heat source and heat sink. What are the heat source? These are the reservoir which gives the heat energy to the system. And what are the heat sink? These are the reservoirs which absorbs the heat from the system. Okay. So let's say heat source, it is at a temperature T1 and heat sink, it is at a temperature T2. W is your output, Q1 will be your input. Is it clear? Now this W will be equal to Q1 minus Q2. Q1 minus Q2. Now how heat is going to flow or how it heat is flowing? Heat is flowing from higher temperature to the lower temperature. So T1 is always greater than T2. Is it clear? Right. So <clears throat> let us define efficiency of an engine. What is efficiency basically? Efficiency is nothing but output from the system to the input to the system. What is the output? It is W. What is the input to the system? It is Q1. Okay, so this is the formula to calculate efficiency of an engine. Okay, it is very simple. Okay, if you remember, if you have understood the block diagram well, then the rest part is very easy. Even the numericals you can easily solve. If you have understood how I am constructing the block diagram or sketch of an heat engine. What is the input? What is the output? How much amount it is rejecting? Right, Q1 is input to the system, W is the output and Q2 is the amount of heat rejected by the system. What is your system? It is the engine. And W, it is equal to Q1 minus Q2. Right, now let us discuss about the units. Now this can be expressed in Joule. Work it is in Joule, Q1 and Q2 these are also in Joule. Or you can write this as w dot which is equal to q1 dot minus q2 dot now this will be in dot when we denote the dot it is related to time joule per second this is nothing but watt right joule per second so important is how to calculate the efficiency it is nothing but output what is the output w and what is the input it is q1 so hope you have understood what are the heat engines then how to calculate the efficiency of a heat engine, right? Okay. So remember what are heat source and heat sink and heat, it is flowing from higher temperature T1 to the lower temperature T2, right? Okay. Now, hope you have understood this. Let us discuss some very important numericals. Now, numericals are easy if you have understood the block diagram well, okay. I will tell you how to solve the examples. So your examples in the exam, it will be based on either engine or refrigerator or heat pump. Now, first read the statement, engine develops 80 kilowatt of work output when heat is supplied at the rate of 240 kilowatt. Find the efficiency of engine and heat rejected to the atmosphere. Draw the sketch of the system. So this example, it is based on what? Engine draw the sketch of engine first. See sketch of engine, it will remain same. Whatever the numerical is, you have to draw such type of sketch. Okay. Now, see here. So this is what a heat engine. So it is going to produce some work by taking some input. It is going to reject some heat. So this is your source at a temperature T1, this is your C at a temperature T2. 
Okay, now write the given data. The heat engine develops 80 kilowatt of work output. This is what 80 kilowatt. Okay, when heat supplied, heat supplied at the rate of 240 kilowatt. This is what 240 kilowatt. What you have to find out? You have to find efficiency. What will be efficiency of a system? And heat rejected to the atmosphere. That means what? Q2 you have to find out. What will be Q2? Okay, this is a simple example. And draw the sketch. We have already drawn the sketch of the system. Now let us solve a very simple example. Okay. So, what is the efficiency? Efficiency of an engine, it is nothing but output that is W divided by Q1. So what is the W? 80 divided by Q1. What is Q1? It is 240. So 1 by 3, it is nothing but 0 0.3333. So therefore, efficiency, remember, always expressed in percentage. So 0 0.33 into 100. So it will be 33.3. 33%. This is your first answer. Okay. Always remember efficiency always express in percentage. Now, how much Q2 that how much heat is rejected? So we know W is equal to what is the W? W is equal to Q1 minus Q2. So if you want to write with time because the units are what? Kilowatt. Okay. So kilojoule per second. So I can write Q2 is equal to Q1 plus W. So what is Q1? 240 plus 80. Sorry, this will be what? Minus. Yes or no? Yes. Q1 minus. See, Q2 I have brought here and W I am bringing on the right hand side. So Q1 minus W. So 240 minus 80. How much it will be? It will be 160 kilowatt. Unit will remain same. 240 kilowatt, 80 kilowatt. Right. So this will be amount of heat rejected. Rejected to the atmosphere. Okay. So this is how we have to solve the example. Okay, right. So let us see the example number two. I hope this example is clear. So please do like and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you are new, you can join us on Telegram for all the latest update. Right. Now let us see the second numerical. Now, heat engine operates between the source and sink temperatures of 235 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius respectively. Okay, so this is an example of heat engine, right? So let us draw the block diagram of heat engine. Jiska bhi example hoga. Let us draw first block diagram. Okay, you can write all the given thing in the block diagram, no issue. So this is your heat engine. It is going to produce the work by taking some input. It is going to reject the heat. This will be your source, which is at a temperature T1. This will be your sink, which will be at a temperature T2. That's it. Very simple. Now, so what is given? Source and sink temperatures are given to you. So what are the given thing? Let us write. This is at 235 degrees Celsius and this is at 30 degrees Celsius. I have told you T1, it is always greater than T2. Okay, source and sink temperature. Now, heat, if heat engine receives 35 kilowatt from the source, okay, so Q1, heat received, how much it is? 35 kilowatt. Find the net work done by the engine and heat rejected to the sink by the engine and as well as you have to calculate the efficiency of the engine is it clear okay now remember what we have seen <coughs> okay now how we calculate the efficiency it is nothing but w divided by q1 is it correct now what is w it is nothing but q1 minus q2 divided by q1 
if i am going to split it here q1 upon q1 it will be 1 minus q2 upon q1 is it correct so this is how you can also calculate the efficiency of an engine 1 minus q2 upon q1 now if it is a carnot engine if it is a carnot engine Now, what is Carnot engine basically? So basically Carnot engine, it is a theoretical thermodynamic cycle, which is proposed by a scientist name is Carnot. Okay. And basically you can calculate the maximum possible efficiency that heat engine can produce. Okay. And the maximum efficiency of the Carnot engine, it is given by one minus T2 upon T1. Okay, so both the formulas you have to remember. So this is one formula 1 minus Q2 by Q1, and assuming it is a Carnot engine, the maximum efficiency, maximum possible efficiency that a heat engine can produce, it is what? 1 minus T2 upon T1. Okay, right. So we are going to use this formula basically. Now, one more point you have to remember here T1 is equal to and T2 is equal to. T1 is 30 degrees Celsius. And sorry, what is T1? T1 it is 2, how much it is? 235. 235 degrees Celsius. And T2 it is how much? 30 degrees Celsius. Now to use this formula, you have to remember, you have to take temperatures always in Kelvin. Take the temperature always in Kelvin. Okay. So let us convert this in Kelvin. How we convert? 235 plus 273. Okay. You have to add 273 to convert degree Celsius in Kelvin. Okay. So how much it will be? It will be 508 Kelvin. Okay, and 30 plus 273, it will be 303 Kelvin. So now calculate efficiency, therefore efficiency you can calculate as 1 minus T2 upon T1, which is equal to 1 minus, what is T2? 303 upon, what is given? 508. Okay, so if you calculate this, you will get 0. 4035. Okay. So efficiency, as I told, always expressed in percentage. So it will be 40.35 percentage. You have to multiply this with 100. Okay. So this is how you are going to calculate efficiency. Now, what is efficiency basically? How we define the efficiency? Efficiency is nothing but W divided by Q1. So from this, can I write W is equal to efficiency multiplied by Q1? What is efficiency? 0 0.4035 into what is Q1? It is 35. What it will be? It will be 14.12 kilowatt. This is your second answer. Okay, we have to find what? Net work. Now, next thing you have to find out what will be heat rejected. Yes. So again, very simple. We know W. What is W? Q1 minus Q2. So from this, what you have to find out? Q2. What will be Q2? Q1 minus W. So what is Q1? 35. 35 minus. What is W? Just now we have calculated 14.12. So you will get around 20.8 kilowatt. Okay. So what are the answers you are getting? Efficiency you have got as 40.35 percentage. This is your first answer. Then net work done by the engine. How much it is? 14.12 kilowatt. This is your second answer. And how much? heat is rejected 
that is q2 q2 it is how much 20.8 kilowatt this is your third answer right so this is basically a new concept important one number of times you will have to use this formula okay so basically it comes from the efficiency calculation of carnot engine okay so there are no such engines exist okay it's a hypothetical right so for easy calculation purpose okay or for reference you can say the carnot engines are there right so those are hypothetical so remember what is the maximum efficiency engine can produce it is equivalent to carnot efficiency 1 minus t2 by t1 what is t2 yes uh, what is t2 here t2 is a sink temperature t1 is source temperature right so these are the concepts which are involved in the heat engine hope you have understood the concept of heat engine as well as the numericals so thank you everyone and please do like and share with your friends ask them to join us on telegram you can also find us on facebook page and till now if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please do it it motivates me and please don't forget to comment in the comment section if you are finding these videos useful so in the next video we will be talking about refrigerator thank you